Hey guys, how's it going? So if you're new to this whole Shopify thing and this whole dropshipping thing, you're probably wondering how you get products into your Shopify store. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use the Overlow app in Shopify. Uh, let's go ahead and just waste no time, jump right into it. Here is my desktop. I literally just created the Shopify store. You can see it says your trial just started. Uh, this is just some random test store. I have nothing on it. This is literally what Shopify looks like right when you sign up. So fresh store, we're gonna first install the Oberlo app and this is how you do it. This is how you import products from AliExpress into your Shopify store. So we're gonna go ahead and hit apps on the left-hand side of the screen here and go ahead and hit visit the Shopify app store. So once this loads, we are gonna look for the Oberlo app and this Oberlo app allows you to import products, I think not only from AliExpress, but from all different websites into your Shopify store super easily uh, from all different manufacturers. And if you're new at the, I'm just gonna go ahead and do brief explanations of everything I'm doing just so you get it. The Shopify app store apps allow you to do anything you want on Shopify. Oberlo one allows you to import. Okay, we already talked about this. Um, every app has a page and it'll show you uh, different pricing strategies. So this happens to have a free plan and we're just going to go ahead and use a free plan. But maybe you're doing a bunch of volume. They do offer uh, better pricing and stuff. You can read the reviews on any app. You can look at screenshots of any app. And sometimes the screenshots are very helpful, I've found, because a lot of times you don't exactly know what the app does. But let's go ahead just hit add app here and Oberlo is just going to tell you that it wants permission to do these things with your Shopify store. Go ahead down here, just hit install app. And this is your Oberlo dashboard. Now I think I already made a Oberlo account. Just sign up for Oberlo. Uh, it skipped that part because I already made a test one, but it'll have you just enter an email and you know, you just make a free account. Okay, so once you're here, oh, I gotta clear it. I'm gonna clear this because I wanna show you how to do this. I already messed with this a little bit because I wanted to make sure I remember how to do it. So in the Oberlo dashboard, you'll have home, import list, products, orders, notifications, and find product. So through Oberlo, you can actually just find products right here. If you hit find products uh, and you can say you want to add some shoes to your Shopify store, you could just type in shoes and it looks like it's searching AliExpress here. And you want to make sure that you're sorting the products by order count. Order count is really important. You want to uh, only import products that have a decent amount of orders on them. When I say decent, I mean like maybe 100, 200 plus in my experience. That's what I go with. Uh, this one you could see has 17,000 orders. This one has 15,000 orders. The reason you do that is because using Oberlo and using AliExpress, uh, you are ordering products from Chinese manufacturers and Chinese manufacturers are not always reliable. Um, so if you import a product that has a lot of orders on it, most likely it is from a reliable manufacturer that can deliver on those orders. Um, so to make this really simple, uh, this is the top ordered product for shoes. It's just soft slippers. You can go ahead and hit add to import list. If you want to, you can look at the product a little more and just look at more details. This is how much it's gonna cost you. These are the sizes that's available. These are the varieties they have for sale. This is the shipping options that it has. So you can see this is gonna be a 45 day shipping time. And these are the other shipping options. The free shipping is 45 days. You can pay a lot of money and get it faster um, if you're shipping in the United States. But anyway, you can go ahead and hit add to import list. And I'm just going to show you this really quick. 
Once you hit add to import list, it'll show up over here in your import list. And it's still adding the product. The import list is all the products that you will be adding to your Shopify store or you plan to add to your Shopify store. So if I wanted to add this product just as is, I could literally just hit import product and it'll show up in your Shopify store. But I would suggest doing a couple things first here and not in your Shopify store just to make it easy for you. First, you'll wanna change the title. You can change the title to whatever you want. You don't need the default title. Um, so you could just put whatever you want. Super soft uh, slippies. <laughs> okay, slippies. And we'll add the tag shoe. Okay. And then in here, you can change the description if you want. This is just the default description they have. You can select the varieties that you want to sell. So this is actually, um, I would suggest selecting the varieties you want to sell in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can also edit the prices in here and it'll tell you this is the default price and this is the profit you're going to make. You can change all this in your Shopify store, but maybe here, I'll give you an example. I will just sell these red ones. So is there any more red? Yeah. So if I wanted to just sell the red slippers, I can select all the ones that say red. And then images, you can select the images you wanna import. Since I'm just selling the red, I'm gonna uncheck all these images here. And maybe there's some helpful images here. Like, okay, I'll just, actually, I'm not gonna add those. but. You get the idea here. You can customize everything you want to import in the product before you import it into your product, into your Shopify store. So let's go ahead and import to this to the store so I can show you exactly what this looks like. Import to store. And as you can see, it's being imported. If we go, checkbox, if we go back to the Shopify store and you click on products here in the left-hand side, you'll see that now we have the super soft, super soft slippies. <laughs> I spelled it wrong. But if you click on this eyeball, it'll show you exactly what the product page is going to look like. And if you click on this eyeball, it'll show you exactly what your store looks like. So let's click on the eyeball and you can see exactly here's your product. Somebody can come on your store right now and buy this product. They could add to cart, they can select their color, it looks like the Oberlo app does import from AliExpress, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use the Oberlo Chrome extension. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt. Just wanted to say if you're enjoying the video, go ahead and subscribe. And also I am currently going to be doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you want some walkthrough of any of this stuff, uh, go ahead and contact me on Instagram or in the email in the description below. So getting back to the video. To import products directly from the website. So. Let's just uh, Google um, Oberlo Chrome extension. There it is right there. Let's just click on the first one. This is the Oberlo Chrome extension. Of course, you need to be using Google Chrome as a web browser to use this extension. I think Firefox also has this extension though. Um, so add Oberlo, add extension. That's it, it's done. It's up here in the corner, you can see. So now that the extension's installed, all you have to do now is go to aliexpress.com. And we'll type in shoes. So this green bar, is the Oberlo extension. And you could see right here, you could just hit add to Oberlo for any of these products. And remember, you want to sort by orders. Now, just to give you some context, I'm gonna to explain to you, you can skip over this if you want, but I'm gonna tell you a little story about why it's so important that you choose a reliable manufacturer. When I was first starting out with drop shipping, we, uh, 
found this hoodie that looked really cool and we thought we could sell it was like a uh had an octopus on it or something we thought we could sell it to fishing people who liked fishing right uh but this product only had five or six or seven orders but we just took our chances anyway and we imported it to our store and we ran an ad and overnight we sold like 15 of them at $40 a piece and they only cost us like $15. So we made a bunch of money. But uh, because this manufacturer only had five or six orders, it wasn't a highly ranked manufacturer, they couldn't deliver any of those hoodies. I don't know if they didn't have it, if it like didn't exist or if they made it up. Regardless, they didn't deliver and we had to refund every customer. So it's important that you use reliable um, manufacturers here. That's why it's important to uh, sort by orders. And if you click into these, there's another thing you want to look for here when you're importing from AliExpress. Up here is the store that's selling it. And if you just hover over it, you can see this is... Uh, 97.8% positive rating. This is a top brand. So this is probably a store that you can trust. And it says right here, item description 4.8, 4.7. It's all above average. And it's been around, you can see October 19th, 2019, been around for three years. So we could trust this store. If you want to add this product, uh, you can just hit add to overload down here in the corner and it will just show up in your Oberlo uh, product list. So let's go ahead and close this. You can also add it here if you want to. And if we just go back to our store and hit apps, here, let's reload this, I don't think it loaded. If you go back and hit apps, you can see that you have the Oberlo app installed. If you click into it, it'll just take you to your Oberlo dashboard. And if you go to import list, you can see that the shoes I just imported from AliExpress are here. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit import to store. Same deal as the last one. And go to products. Here it is in your store. I'll go over a couple other things that you should look for. Uh, shipping rates are really important in AliExpress. Uh, because they take a long time because they're coming from China. Now you can see that AliExpress um, or Oberlo, I'm getting this all confused. Oberlo puts this little border on it and it tells you how much the shipping is going to be for this product and how long it'll take. So you can see this one's $1.58 shipping and it's going to take 45 days. These are free shipping, they're going to take 45 days. Um, one thing you can do like I mentioned earlier, is if you click into this, it'll show you the shipping options. So there is an option to ship faster. You can see the difference is like over a month, but it will cost you $21 to do this. Uh, one thing you could do when you're searching for products as well, here, let's go back to uh, just shoes. Uh, aside from sorting by orders, you can also select products, see it says right here, shipping from. You can also select products that ship from the United States, so they don't actually come from China. Um, these are manufacturers in the United States. They're not always manufactured in the United States, but they have the product somewhere in the United States to ship it, and they have faster shipping times. So uh, I think AliExpress is wrong on the shipping time. It just shows you the default one. But if you click into this, because we selected ships from the United States, you can see you can select ships from, and you can select the United States. And see, now it tells you the shipping is $26, but it ships via USPS, and it only has a 14 to uh, 4 to 13 day shipping time from the US. That's kind of costly though, shipping. You're really gonna have to mark this product up. But regardless, I wanted to show you that that's an option. You can select manufacturers that ship from the United States. And don't pay attention to this shipping time. Um, see, these products ship from China, Russia, United States, France, France Spain. But 
if you're selling to people in the United States, it's probably nice to ship from the United States. This one has free shipping from the United States and it'll be delivered on April 3rd. That's, um, that's still a month, but if I click on China, you can see it's just 15 to 40 days. And there's actually different shipping options here. These are also free. Um, but I guess this is the best one. So one thing I want to explain to you guys, because this was really confusing to me when I first started, is when somebody orders a product from your store, you have to fulfill that order. It's not just going to automatically be sent to your customer. So if somebody orders a product that you imported from Oberlo, uh, the order is going to show up in your Oberlo dashboard. I'll show you this here. So under orders here, it'll show up as an order that you need to fulfill. Um, and then when you click, it'll have you fulfill an order. You have a button that you'll be able to click and it'll automatically go through the entire ordering process of ordering the product from AliExpress. Now, when you order a product from AliExpress, you have to purchase it yourself with your own debit or credit card. And then Shopify reimburses you from the customer's money. So you actually have to have a little bit of money or a credit card or something available for you because what's happening is you're ordering the product yourself on AliExpress and then putting in that customer's information inside of AliExpress so that they ship the product straight to the customer. So you never have to deal with it. Your, uh, look at yourself as the middleman you're the marketing expert what you do is you get the right product in front of the right person in front of the person who needs it so that is how you make your money the difference between uh the price you charge and the price that aliexpress that you order it from so i just wanted to uh make that clear it's not just an automatic process. You do have to fulfill the order. It makes it really easy. It'll go through all the steps for you. Um, and then you have to purchase it with your own card. Mm -hmm. The other thing I wanted to say mm -hmm. that is really important is these are the products that are in your store. These are the products that are going to be in your store. Uh, I'm going to add this really quick just to show you an example. So the other thing you want to do is when you, if you only like certain varieties, it is important that you select the varieties here and the images you want to use here before you import it into Oberlo, uh, into your Shopify store. Because if you don't do it here, it can possibly get messed up if you try and edit this stuff in Shopify, like it may unlink from Oberlo and then you have to fill the orders manually. Um, so obviously there's a lot more to this, but this video is just to show you guys how to use Oberlo and the Oberlo Chrome extension. So hopefully that was very helpful. I'll go ahead and switch back to myself. Thank you so much guys for watching and let me know if you have any questions below and I'll see you in the next video.